show that we very much made together with the writer Michael West and the cast. So we made these roles specifically for these actors, apart from one who's a, a local actor. Well, he's a fantastic international actor, but he's from Galway, called uh, Declan Conlon, who's a replacement to the original cast. But everybody else, th their roles were created with them and for them. Um, it's a play that's about one man's life where he goes um, back in time and forward in time looking at different uh, relationships and times in his life through his memory. So everyone else plays many different characters and he stays the same. Would you like to say goodbye to her? Will you say goodbye to your mother? All I knew was that I wanted to make something really contemporary and I wanted the, the feeling of the, the show to reflect that. And so I knew really in the beginning that it didn't suit our regular commedia style, which is very much white face masks and really um, broad, broad gest gestures. So I knew they wouldn't be in white face. And, and I had seen a show in Chicago where I, from a Dutch company who used multimedia in a way that wasn't alienating. And, the, and it was a very contemporary aesthetic, but but really engaging and the acting was brilliant and I thought something like that. So um, with that in mind, we then set forth to make something that was about now and then the economy collapsed. So then we knew we were making something about change and transformation and what it feels like to have the rug pulled from underneath you. When we were thinking about using technology in the play, we knew it would really work for the aesthetic we were trying to achieve, but I was really keen. I'd never done it before, and I thought, if it interferes at all with our human connection with the characters, then no way. And so there's some video work in it, but almost all of it is from the character's point of view. So it's, a, it's another way of being more inside of the character. Did you do that? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you understand me? Can you understand me? We use that idea of transformation. And sometimes when, you know, as so many people around the country are experiencing with loss of jobs and this great big change, that there's also a gift in that. It's very California to say, but it's, uh, you know, there's always something to be found when something is lost. <laughs> 